with the way last episode ended with Asagiri saying they're coming and all that, and this episode being called Stone Wars, uh, I don't know. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius, back at it again with episode 18 of Dr. Stone. And might I tell you, when I was uh, taking a quick couple of minutes to just regather myself, I went and actually put some macaroni and cheese in the oven so I could have some lunch after this episode. I was thinking to myself while the oven was preheating and shit, and I was like, holy shit! I didn't even mention it because I was kind of so uh, wrapped up in the episode itself. I never realized that to go get the antibiotics for Connie, of course, Yakov and Dahlia never came back. I know they they kind of they when they, it was it was a risk. They were on the high seas ocean in terrible weather, and they said if we don't come back, raise our kids. And they and I definitely saw them raising their kids later on. But if, how the fuck did I not put two and two together that they really died to save Connie's life and it didn't end up working? Holy shit! I think it was because it hard cut to Connie's grave. Like oh well, she just didn't make it. They just didn't make it in time. That maybe that was the first thing that went through my head, but I was like, oh my god. Man, shouts out to Lillian, Shamil, Connie, Yakov, Dahlia, and Byakuya, man. Like, if you ever, have you ever seen The Boys? You got the Legendary Seven. These are the mighty fucking six. These are the Justice League, bro, of people. And uh, the way it trickled down all the way to Senku, I'm not even going to get into that, bro. I'm going to start crying again if I talk about that. But that was just an amazing episode, full of the feels and Asagiri. Ended it with Sukasa's coming and his army, which the last time we saw his army, they looked like they were fucking brawling. But it's time to see because brawlic versus the kingdom of science, baby. I don't know what that means, but you know I'm excited. So with certain shows like Dr. Stone, I can't put the reaction on YouTube. They will block it immediately, so I have to put it a redirect. So at the top of the description, you either click it or tap it. it. should bring you to the redirect, should bring you to the reaction. Come back here to hear my thoughts on it. If you guys like that format and want to see just the entire episode down here, uncut, everything like that, or the next one early, because I have that early as well, you can check out the Patreon down below. Those options are available. Let's hop into this Dr. Stone episode 18. All right, so we finally got fucking swords, man. That was a badass episode with Hyoga. Um, all right, I can't call him Asagiri anymore, so Gen. Gen coming in clutch. I, I love, I forgot the actual name of the flower, but he used that flower not only as a secret kind of message to Senku and Suika, but uh, he also used it a lot in his uh, magic show and his in his performance and in floriography. It means liar, which is perfect for him because he's that kind of trickster who's always you know gets behind you, um, which is just fucking. And the way he the way that because like it's typical again for him to be like, oh, what is this web? I have no. But then like I love the small little details, man. It's fucking insane, and. That was so clutch of him to give Magma the rock to throw and say, you don't need to hit, just throw this as hard as you can. And then to make it seem like he had a gun. That was, yeah, that's that's why I said I love Senku and uh, um, Senku and Gen's relationship because they're both have their flaws and they're both super unique and weird, but they both are super unique and weird in their own way to where like they're on like each other's wavelength, you know, like they understand each other like this is what you would do this is what i would do so i know you, you know it's like it's fucking it's weird it's like when it's like when they say it takes a con man to know one they're not necessarily con men or anything but they're type of guys who are very observative intellectual they know how to manipulate certain scenarios and people to do things in certain situations that they'd want and so because of that they both understand each other and they know what each other would do in certain scenarios and i love that um but Hyoga's a badass. His fucking weapon. Like, I just assumed that he was actually, like, physically spinning it. So I didn't really understand how it gained extra width at the end. But no, he's just... Which makes exact sense. If you're going like this and it's, like, small circles here, the outside's gonna be massive circles. And he's doing it to a point, you know, unhuman-like speed and power, of course. So you can't see that. And it's just like a... Like, literally a blender. Because you gotta think about the width. It's literally a blender coming at you. Like, it's gonna tear your ass up. And the way they have, like, the little actual winding white arrows around to make it like the, to animate it as if it's spinning is really cool and i like i like i liked his weapon and his unique style of fighting that was really cool you know what i'm saying but i think i'm gonna end the episode here 
fantastic episode as always very excited to get in this next one if you guys enjoyed please let me know what you thought down below of course leave a like check out the patreon i don't have any questions right now but if you guys ever want to ask me anything that discord is down below check out that q a section i appreciate y'all peace out after squad